Greetings, fellow Earthlings and viewers across the World Wide Web. This is Tune215. And right now, we're in the state of Illinois. We're currently in the city of Chicago. Today, we're going to be doing a driving tour of a neighborhood called Washington Park. We actually just exited Washington Park on our right-hand side. It's 78 degrees outside right now. Washington Park is a very large park that you can drive through. All right, let's make this left-hand turn at 54th. You got Edmund Burke or Berkey Elementary School. As we turn, you can see the gentleman's walking by the school. The school's now on our right-hand side. Behind the school, they got a Berkey School Community Garden. I don't know if the East Island, it could just be Burke. But then with my luck, it ended up being like Boise. And it'll be Berkey. So. <laughs> All right. We're at the intersection of 54th and Calumet. We're going under the L. Where the train tracks above us. We're approaching Prairie Ave. I think we can make a right on Prairie Ave and then start zigzagging. Going up and down the Washington Park neighborhood. So in the eastern part of Washington Park, it's mainly, literally, the park called Washington Park. It's huge. It spans almost the whole neighborhood from top to bottom. But that's located on the east side. The residential portion is located from the middle of the Washington Park neighborhood to the west side. Wow, look at this sidewalk on my right. Look at the, the lawn space. It's so overgrown, it's probably like three feet. Some places, two to three feet. Got a mural on that abandoned building on my right. You see it? See that abandoned home? There's a mural on the side of it. So Washington Park was named after America's first president. Washington Park is a residential area sporting a park of the same name. That's the park that we just left. The park itself includes Washington Park Arbitorium, Lorado Taft's Fountain of Time Sculpture, the prestigious Du Sable Museum of African American History, and regular softball league games. It also, or I'm sorry, it's also home to one of Chicago's oldest L stations and diner style currency exchange cafe. Let's continue moving forward. We're on Prairie and 53rd. Yeah, I also um, just saw them. I think they were playing, what was that? What was the name of that game again? Lacrosse, yeah, there was a group of, of gentlemen out there that were playing lacrosse in Washington Park. So I'm going 20 miles an hour. I do have a vehicle behind me. The building on my left looks like it can be an apartment building. It's pretty big. We got plenty of green space on my left and on my right, right? It's crazy. Look at plenty of open lots. Looks like we got a couple apartments on our left. We got the Elks Lodge on our left, Great Lakes Elks Lodge. Let's go up about another block or so. You got the Enchanted Garden on my left-hand side. They don't have a stop sign, so we gotta be patient and wait. Up, oh, this person just jumped right in front of us. Come on, oh hey. He didn't even stop. He just rolled the stop sign and just pretty much <laughs> he took our opportunity to go. For rent on our right, apartments. On our left, it looks like we have more apartments. And there was one new building placed in between the apartments. On my right, that's another new building. The dark blue bricks. We're approaching 50th Street. We're at the intersection of 50th and Prairie Ave. We're actually one block shy of the neighborhood, so let's make this left and enter the neighborhood once again. The borderline on the north side was 51st Street, and we passed 51st. We're now on 50th. Let's make this left on Indiana Avenue. We got two story buildings on my right hand side. They look like row homes, it might be apartments. Right, let's make this left hand turn. Be careful. 
Oh, this is a one way. Absolutely incorrect the moon though. We had two gentlemen outside talking on my right. On our left, we got Aunt Martha's Health and Wellness. Looks like two staff members on our left that were having a conversation. Michigan. We're at 50th in Michigan. I'm going to make this left-hand turn. We got a lot of traffic. This is a one-way, too, but it's the one-way the opposite way. Uh, I think I can make a left. Yeah, we're looking good. Check out those buildings on my right. Look at the design of them. The front, you see the front facade? Punch buggy, no punch back. Y'all saw that Volkswagen Beetle? All right, we're back on the borderline. We're at 51st. On my left, there's several businesses, including Sharks, Fish, and Chicken, and Little Wok, which is a Chinese store. What's crazy is that I've seen a lot of fish and chicken spots throughout Chicago. So they must love seafood. I see a lot of fish and chicken spots. Wow, some of these buildings are incredible. I gotta make a reverse for this thing right here. There was a building over here that looked quite interesting. Let me reverse it. 5139, this building right here. 5139, you see that? That light tan building right here? You see the front of it? Pretty interesting looking building. Make sure there's no traffic behind us. All right, I'm gonna pull back into traffic. This is a three lane street, it's pretty wide. As you can see, there's probably like five lanes. Abandoned building on my left. Yeah, it's probably like five lanes, including the parking, parking on the left, parking on the right, and then three lanes in the middle, five lanes. Really wide. <clears throat> it looks like one of their uh, high speed streets. We're at 52nd and Michigan Ave. Now, to my knowledge, Michigan Ave runs straight through downtown. It's one of the thriving blocks in downtown Chicago. We're at 53rd. We're going to continue moving forward. We got Greater Bethsda. How you say that? Beth Bethsaida? <laughs> I don't know how you say that. It was a church on our left. So I got to travel normal speed, guys. I'm traveling 24 miles an hour. There's cars behind me. Hopeful church on our left. Another abandoned building on our left-hand side. Bright orange car on our right. Got McDonald's on my right-hand side. Billions and billions served. I could have swore their old uh, slogan was like over a billion served or something. Now it says billions and billions served. They must have updated that, John. So Washington Park covers an area of 1.48 square miles. The population as of the 2018 United States Census was 11,355 people. McDonald's is hiring. There's a sign in case anybody's looking for employment. We're passing East Garfield Boulevard. We got a female on my right wearing a dress and she has some flowers and some high heels. We got the ambulance on our right, the medics. Chicago Fire Department Medics. Michigan Food and Deli on our left. The, the Islamic Education Center on our left. We're at Michigan in 56. Coppin AME Church or Copen AME Church on our left. We're at 57th in Michigan. These buildings on my right and on my left, the bricks are bright red. They look like they were probably made within the last, who knows, 30, 40 years. All right, so we can take this down to about 63rd Street. 63rd Street will be the borderline of the neighborhood. We're passing 58th. When we get to 63rd, we'll, we'll make a right. So let me start merging now so I'm in the correct lane. 
It's a lot of trees, right? There's a lot of trees, a lot of vegetation. We're approaching 59th. We're at 59th and Michigan Ave. There's another abandoned building on my right that's boarded up. All right, we're approaching 60th. That car right in front of us just straight up ate the red light because it's our green still. And they ate the red light. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine we would have been coming, you know what I mean? And he would have ate it. That's how accidents happen. We got St. Anselm's Catholic Church on our left. St. Anselm's. A-N-S-E-L-M-S. We're at 61st Street, 61st in Michigan. I don't know what's up with this light. Oh, it's green for us. Oh, man, this light is it's a hoopty. We got St. Edmund's Medals on our right. Looks like apartments. We're not far from Old Block either which is one of the notorious uh, parts of Chicago. We'll cover that in another video, so make sure you turn on that notification bell so you can see what neighborhood Old Block is located in, and we'll take a drive through that area. Alright, we're at 63rd Street. So if we go left, you'll head to O Block. O Block is a part of a housing complex, but we'll talk a little bit more about that on the next video, y'all. We're at Michigan Ave, the 100 block of East Michigan Ave, 63rd in Michigan. I'm gonna make this right hand turn. New Paradise Car Wash. They got some graffiti on my right. All right, let's make this right-hand turn on Wabash, W-A-B-A-S-H. That building on my right is boarded. It's, it's, it's sealed. They sealed the building on my right, and so is the one on my left. Look at this building, though. Look at the size of it. Look at that size. Look at the length. Look at the fullness in that. It's like a row home, but it's not connected to anything else. But look at that. Everything's boarded up. And it looked like there was a house right next to it because all you see is the steps, but you don't see the house. Yo, that's a nice property, though. Like, it has potential. It's probably not located in the best part of the city, but it definitely has potential. And at least you ain't got many neighbors because there's no houses on the left. Oh, it's right next to the Animal Welfare League. That little building that was next to it is called the Animal Welfare League. The median household income in Washington Park is $27,458. So is Washington Park a good area in Chicago? The Washington Park community in Chicago is being gentrified. It has beautiful restored buildings and beautiful parks that have a wealth of black history. Washington Park houses the, the historical Bronzeville and Black Belt communities. We're at 61st Street. We're going to continue moving forward. No littering, you see? There's a little sign on my right. No littering, no drugs, no loud music. It looks like this on my right looked like it was a school. It's boarded up on my right hand side. There's a ton of trash on my right hand side. A ton all over the ground. Look at you got a female walking her dog. A ton of debris, ton of like, like cups, bottles, plastic, white paper. We're traveling 12 miles an hour. There's a slingshot over here on my left hand side, a Polaris slingshot that's under that car cover. You could tell because the way it's shaped. There's a little playground on my right. You got the Saint, the Saint Edmunds Commons on our right hand side, where that blue car pulled up to. All right, we're passing 60th Street, 60th, and Wabash. Everybody's Bible Church on our left-hand side. You got three youngsters on my right walking. Looks like probably two brothers and one sister. 
probably all siblings. What is Washington Park, Chicago known for? It is home to the Du Sable or Du Sable Museum of African American History. The park was the proposed site of the Olympic Stadium and the Olympic Aquatic Center in Chicago's bid to the host of the 2016 Summer Olympics. The Bud Billiken Parade and Picnic is now United States' largest African American parade. Wow, so basically, I. What I'm taking from that is we're passing 59th. You got Greater Metropolitan Church on the left hand side. What I'm getting from that is we got a car behind me too. I'm sorry, y'all. Let me let me pull pull over because they're about to pass me anyway. What I understand from what I just uh, reiterated to you guys is that Chicago, I guess the the leaders of Chicago put a bid in to have the Olympics hosted here, and if they would have hosted the Olympics here, they would have held it in that big park, Washington Park. Or in this neighborhood, at least. That's incredible. We're at 58 from Wabash. Yeah, I think we're way off. Let me make this left-hand turn. No, we're actually good. I could have kept going straight. Matter of fact, because that was my mistake. I'm going to spin the block. Yeah, it, it, it was 50 if that was that was the cutoff. We didn't hit 50. If. Matter of fact, there's some graffiti over here. Let me go through this alley so that you guys can see some of this artwork. Show that artwork on my right. This might end up being a dead end. So what we're gonna do is just bust a little UB. I think there's one of those no outlet alleys. Look like people be driving through here. Look at there's a ton of track marks. Alright. At least y'all get a chance to see the graffiti from the opposite angle. Check it out. See all the colors? That's dope. A lot of trash and debris in the alley, though. All right, so we're going to make this right-hand turn, and we're going to continue up our original route before I made the mistake of turning left. Do apologize about that. Let's make this left on Wabash again. I got to, like, figure out the actual way to pronounce this. And I'm sure by the time you guys see this, I'm going to be, you know, oh, way, I'm, I'm going to be uh, far away from Chicago. <laughs> Remember, guys, whatever you guys watch on this channel, I usually post a, post a month in advance. I try to stay 20 steps ahead. The vinyl side of the house is on my left hand side. All right, we're at 57th. Yeah, we're, we're descending in numbers. As long as we're descending, the cutoff is at 50th. Oh no, it was 51st. I'm sorry. 50th was one block away from the neighborhood. So Washington Park is located on the south side of Chicago. And the park, remember we talked about that earlier in the beginning? It's 372 acres. That's how big the park is. And it stretches um, east to west from Cottage Grove Avenue to the Dillon Ryan Expressway. And north-south from 51st Street to 63rd Street. So it's a big park. And we're at 56, 56 and Wabash. Wow, 
Wow, a lot of overgrown sidewalks. You see the uh, grass on my left? Looks like a safari. So in the year 2020, that was the last time they did a census around here. Based on the 2020 United States Census, the population was 12,707 people. We're passing Garfield Boulevard. I'm going to be cautious here because the light in front of me is showing yellow and, and green. Hold on. Let me make sure that these people on my right got a red. Yeah, they got a red, right? All right let me be careful because them lights up top wasn't working properly. We got a super safe gas station on my right. $5.19 per gallon. Gentleman on my right is shining his rims, cleaning his wheels to his Escalade. Miss Biscuit, Southern Comfort Food on our right. Must be a restaurant. We got some homes on our right. And on our left, we got Midwest Fencing. Looks like they're probably doing some demo work. Probably going to build something. Remember, this neighbor is going under gentrification. So it's probably going to look a lot different in, you know, 20 years. We're at 54 from Wabash. Wabash is also known as the Honorary Deval Patrick Ave. Governor Deval Patrick. Looks like we got a fire station on our right. A bunch of potholes. A bunch of, like, uh, craters in the ground on my right. So the demographic breakdown as far as race is concerned, in 2018, it was 1.8% or 1.08% white, 91.62% black and or African American, 2.14% Hispanic, 0.18% Asian, and 4.98% all other races. So we're at 53rd, 53rd and Wabash, that building on my right, again, it looks a little modern, looks a little new. Weekly service, the Cosmopolitan Community Church. Playground on our left, nice little playground for the kids. Looks like this could also be a school too, Beale. Probably a school, is it elementary or middle? The house on my right got wood panels. And these are for sale, these are brand new, look at them. Brand new. 52, zi all right, so I'm gonna give you these addresses, you can look them up. 5205 South Wabash, Chicago, Illinois. That's, that's one of them, and then you can see that there's three more, or two more that's for sale. So it's three total. In case you guys want to know, like, you know, what, what they're selling for, probably more than a half a million dollars. Six, seven, eight hundred thousand, probably. Maybe more. I don't know. I'm, I'm just guessing. All right, we're at 51st. 51st is the borderline. So we're going to make this left hand turn. Wow, oh, that yellow car on my right is mangled. Jones Auto Center on my left. I'm going to make this left-hand turn at 51st Street. Notable people. Are there any notable people from this neighborhood? We got the 15 CTA bus on my right-hand side, public transportation. Let's make this left at 51st Street. We got John Farron Public School on our right. All right, let's make this left-hand turn on State Street. We got a medical dental building on my right-hand side and a lot. Sinai Medical Group. Greater Shiloh Church on our left-hand side, Baptist Church. Oh, Greater Harvest Baptist Church. This thing's huge. This, this big orange building. This, like, reddish orange building on my left. This is one of those other uh, big, fast-paced streets. Edward Beasley Child Parent Center. So that must have been Edward Beasley School on the other side that we saw when I said Beasley. So what notable people they got. If, if I name anyone and you know them, then, yeah, let us know. Jesse Binga. We're passing 53rd. Man, if I see this name again on one of these Chicago neighborhood lists, <laughs> Chief Keefe. Now, the reason why I say that is because I did, you know, several other hood tours over here in Chicago, and his name came up for two other neighborhoods. So when I saw it on the two other neighborhoods, I'm like, all right, maybe he was born in one and raised in the other. You know, he could have was been born in one, up, and when he was five, he could have moved to another neighborhood and grew up in that. But now I see him in this neighborhood, too. So unless he moved around in several different neighborhoods in his lifetime, but 
I'm, t- I'm just telling y'all, I'm making it known that I seen his name on two other neighborhoods. So this will make the third neighborhood that I seen him as a notable uh, person. We got Burger King on our left. We got what looks to be like some sort of business on our right. There's a, a pawn shop on our right. I'm traveling about 20 miles an hour, y'all, but we're on a main street. You got Everland's Food Love on our right. Holy Spiritual Temple on our left. Some artwork on our right. Bunch of craters on the ground. Passing 56. Passing the 29 bus stop. Jones Speedway Auto Center on our right. Timothy number two. Church. And then another church on our right. Cosmopolitan Church of Prayer. Yeah, we just saw like seven churches on this one block. Passing 57th. They got a liquor mart on our left. Ike's Liquor Mart. A good amount of people outside. There's vacant land for sale on my left hand side at the intersection of 57th and State. I believe that was 57th Place and State Street here in Chicago, Illinois. And there's a building for sale right here on my left. And another lot for sale on my right. Yo, there's a lot of property for, for sale in this neighborhood. We're at 58th and State. You got Greater Prayer Garden, God in Christ on our left. Another church. Hand cars detail on our right. Uh, all metal accepted. Buy, sell. So there's a scrap yard on my left. Express Mobile on our right. A lot of craters in the ground. Got Kennedy's Hair and Nail Salon on our left. A Churchy's Chicken on our right. Let's slow down here at 59th. Let's allow some cars to go by so we can process our thoughts. So Chief Keith, Cecil A. Party, Deval Patrick, Harry Marks, pa- Patrick Keese, and Melvin Van Peebles. I never really heard of any of them other than Chief Keith, which was born in 1995. Wow, so he a youngster. 95, Chief Keith, if he was born in 95... He's in his 20s. What is he, like 26, 27? Another church on my right. Be- believe in your Lord. <laughs> That's what the church said. We're passing 60th Street. This is a wide street. I'll tell you that much. We got Elmo's Tombstone on our left. Damn, Tombstone. Oh, there's a Tombstone service. We got a building on our right that looks abandoned. No trespassing. Two of them. We're passing 61st. We're passing the continuation of 61st on my right. It went from my left to my right, but it pushed a little further on my right. There's one of those photo enforced lights, meaning that they'll give you a ticket if you eat it. See the camera right there on my right, up in the air? If you eat that red light, you're going to get a ticket mailed to your house. Or at least to the license plates. If the license plates are stolen, and whoever owns the license plate probably going to get a ticket. <laughs> you know, imagine somebody take your license plate, they go run up all these tickets, and then you get these tickets. Wait, hold on, that, that wasn't me. So we must have just went under a train, train tracks or something. Half a block south, 63, 39 Wentworth. There's a giant painting on the left that said all that stuff that I just mentioned. BP gas station on our right, 5.39 a gallon. Jordan food and liquor on our left. We got a female coming out of this gas station. I'm gonna let her have the right away. I don't make this right on Wentworth Ave. 
They got a Dunkin' Donuts in that BP also. Look at, check out the graffiti up top. You see it? And there's a cop camera right up top. And we can see some of the downtown skyline. We're passing 62nd. So right now we're on the border, if I'm correct. Let me confirm that. Passing 61st Street, look at that abandoned factory on my right. Bunch of graffiti on it. We're actually one block outside of the neighborhood. So the borderline was actually right before Perry. So I would say, ouch, look at there's a train right in front of us. LaSalle, I would say LaSalle is the border. Let me make this right, this is a little late, I'm sorry. But I wanted to make this right just so I can kind of get back into the neighborhood. So what we're gonna do is make a right, go down about about a block or so, and then make a left and get right back on track. There's a abandoned house on my left though. At 60th and LaSalle, 60th and LaSalle. So this is LaSalle. LaSalle is still like a half a block away from the borderline. So the borderline is actually those those train tracks. The train tracks that we went under, that was the borderline. So you gotta stay before the train tracks. So let's go down this block, make a left on 61st, and then continue traveling northbound. Right now we're traveling southbound. We're at 61st on LaSalle Street. Let's make this left hand. Turn. See these uh, tracks right here? That's the official border. I don't know why they made tracks the official border, but this isn't the only neighborhood I've seen like that. We even have a Philly. We even have a neighborhood in Philly that's like that. Um, Harrogate, right next to Kensington. Harrogate. On some areas of it, if you look at the map, is bordered by train tracks. So there's no official block that's the border, but it's the tracks. So right here, it's the same, there's tracks. We're at Perry Ave, Perry Ave. So I don't even know why they would consider this Perry Ave because you, know, you go left, there's no Perry Ave. You go right, there's no per Perry Ave. But there was still an intersection sign for Perry Ave and 61st. But we are back in the neighborhood now. So I'm gonna make a left. It's gonna take us back to State Street. Yeah, there's a bunch of warehousing and businesses on our left that take up some of the space. So what we can do is we can go left on State Street, then we can make a left on 59th, and then make a right on Lafayette Ave. So we're making a left. Looks like there's apartments over there. 61st, we're passing 61st, passing 61st, and State. We've got the 59 public transportation bus on my left-hand side. All right, we're gonna pass 60th. If we make a left here, there's a warehouse that's blocking majority of the block. We're gonna get sent around on like a goose chase again. So let's go to the next block. That is 59th. All right, I think 59th is better. We make a left on 59th and then we make a right and we'll be on Lafayette. Joy of Fellowship Church on our left. Pastor Gregory J. Daggett. Daggett? Remember when he used to say Daggett? Look at the train. Instead of like, darn it, or damn, they'd be like, dag it. Not everybody said it, but I have heard that before. Let's make this left at 59th Street. Just gotta be careful, we got cars. Yellow light, thank you. They even waved from afar the gray vehicle, the gold vehicle in front of us, they put their arms out like, go ahead, go, go, go. That's cool. Chicago Fire Department on our left. All right, let's make this right-hand turn. This is Lafayette, or Fayette. This neighborhood has plenty of open lots, plenty of available addresses to construct new homes. Cause I see lot after lot after lot. Like this lot right here on my left could probably fit like eight, nine, ten homes, depending on how wide you make them. It's right next to a church. 
And look at it, another abandoned house over here. You see it right there? That one over there, see how, how it's sealed up? The ones with the metal gates, I think the city probably owns them. The ones with the wood, maybe people probably own them. Wow, look at that. Uh, you guys can't see it because they got a bunch of stuff on it. It looks like it might be... It looks like it's two buildings wide. It, it, there might be just one entrance. But it looks like it, it's wide enough to be two buildings wide. There's barely any sidewalk here for you to walk on. Like, if you walk through the sidewalk, you better prepare to walk through a safari. There's a little greenhouse on my right-hand side. Let me pull over. There's a CRV behind me. Yeah, there's a greenhouse. You see the greenhouse? Oh, wow, there's more greenhouses over here on my left. <sighs> Sorry, I just yawned, y'all. How many of y'all yawn, too? They say yawning is contagious. Look, they got solar panels on my right on top of that house with the vinyl siding. We're at 57th place in Uh, we're at 57th Street. I'm going to make a stop here. I'm going to move forward. Thank you very much for not being in a rush. Look, they got a balcony on my left-hand side. You see up there? It's like on the third floor. So, based on AreaVibes.com, Washington Park, Chicago, Illinois, has a livability rate of 55, which is considered poor. 55 out of 100. Washington Park's crime rates are 137% higher than the Chicago average. Cost of living in Washington Park is 14% lower than the Chicago average. Washington Park real estate prices are 54% lower than the Chicago average. We got two older gentlemen right here having a conversation. Rental prices in Washington Park are 18% lower than the Chicago average. Washington Park receives an F rating based on crime. They had a closed church on my left. Wow, it was boarded up. Washington Park's crime rates are 297% above the national average. That's total crime. Property crime is 218% above the national average. This is Garfield Boulevard. It's a one-way. I have no choice but to go right. So let's go right. And then I'm going to merge left. So we can probably try to go around this maybe. It looks like this green space that's in the middle uh, kind of cut us off. All right, we're going to make this left on State Street. And then, so this is zero. State Street, I guess, marks the separation from east and west because it says State Street, zero. Instead of 100, it doesn't have 100. It says zero. On our left is east. On our right is west. Well, not on our left, but on our right. I think in front of us is, yep, no, that's actually inaccurate. E and W. I, I would assume that means east and west. But if we make a left, we're actually traveling north, right? Right here is north. On my right will be east. On my left will be west. Behind us will be south. And right now I'm going to make this left, and I'm making a left. We're heading westbound. If we make a right, we're heading eastbound. If we go in front of us, it's northbound. If it's behind us, it's southbound. So in Washington Park, it is said you have a 1 in 11 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Wow, that number came out in several different neighborhoods. 1 in 11 chance. Very, very close. 1 in 11 chance. Violent crimes in Washington Park are 695% higher than the national average. I repeat, violent crimes in Washington Park are 695% higher than the national average. Washington Park is safer than 6% of the cities in Illinois. <laughs> safer with that type of percentage? 695% higher? Sheesh. You got Dunkin' Donuts on my right. 
There's a bus stop on my right. You got a gentleman looking to see if the bus is coming. Garfield. We're at Garfield and Dearborn. I'm going to make this right-hand turn. This is Dearborn. Oh, it looks like there's another warehouse in front of us. New Philadelphia Baptist Church. There's a church on my right called New Philadelphia Baptist Church. I'm so tempted to show it to y'all. Because they're like, nah, Toon, we don't believe you. We don't believe it says New Philadelphia Baptist Church. You're in Chicago, bro. Now look it. New Philadelphia Baptist Church right there. This is the back of it. See that sign? That white sign right there on the wall? It says it in blue. New Philadelphia Baptist Church. Every time I see a Philadelphia Baptist Church in other states, it makes me wonder, like, are the pastor and preacher or reverend or whoever runs the church, are they from Philadelphia? What made them name it Philadelphia? You know what I mean? Like, because we're obviously not in Philadelphia. That's like if you go to Philadelphia and you see a church called Chicago Baptist Church. You know what I mean? If that's the case, I'm wondering if the pastor was from Chicago. Or you know what I mean? Or you live in Philly and there's Los Angeles Baptist Church. We don't have nothing in Philly named after Los Angeles now that I think about it. But I was in, I believe I was in, in Los Angeles. I saw Philadelphia Street. And I, I was it in, uh, in Los Angeles or somewhere in California where I saw a church that had Philadelphia also on it. All right, let's make this left at 54. If you got the Athletico Physical Therapy Warehouse in front of us, it's pretty much making us take a detour. All right, let's make this right-hand turn on Federal. 54th. Wow, look at this empty space on our left. See what I'm talking about? There's plenty of green space that I'm sure for the right price, you can own it. So what's the employment like in this area? So they receive an F rating for employment. It's 51% below the national average income-wise. And unemployment is up 248% above the national average. Key findings show that the median household income in Washington Park is 56% lower than the national average. And again, in this neighborhood, male median earnings are 41% higher. It seems like everywhere, too, the female, the, the, the males earn more than the females, which is kind of messed up. I guess it depends on, like, the work, you know what I mean? But I think if oh, I yawned again, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think if a man and a woman, this is the borderline. We're at 51st. I believe if a man and a woman does the same identical work and they have the same identical experience and the same identical education, then they should get paid the same identical rates. Now, if they're working in the same atmosphere, but let's say the male is doing a more labor intensive job then, you know, the male could, you know, make a little bit more. It makes sense. So we're going to start going west to east because we already went north-south. Got a gentleman riding by us on an e-scooter. Yeah, so I think if we got Chris, what's this? Crispus Attux Community Academy on our left, John Farron Public School, made in 1960. We're going to pass State Street. Yeah, so if the man and the woman are in the same work atmosphere, let's say example. Let's say construction, perfect example, or... um the highway um, crew, you know, people who fix the highway. This is a good example because I've seen a lot of women the last couple of weeks and months working, you know, and doing the hard hat jobs on the highway. And I see, they say, if the man's doing more, more labor intensive work and the woman's doing less labor intensive work, then I can understand if he makes a little bit more because he's doing more labor. You understand? We're passing Wabash. We got the Erie Vehicle Company on our left. What do I mean by that? Good. Here's a good example. A lot of the women that I've been seeing working on the highway, part of the highway team, they do like the flagging or they do the signage. While you got the man probably driving the steamroller or like digging up rocks or doing some, some heavy stuff. You know what I mean? We just passed Michigan Ave. Look, we got stores on our left, stores on our right. Union Stub, Bright New Mind Daycare, Food and Liquors, Hyde Park Food and Liquors. So we must be near Hyde Park also. Passing Indiana Ave. We got Glam Furniture on our left. Pawn Shop on our left. 
We're approaching the train, the train terminal, passing Prairie Ave. We're probably going to make a right right under the train and then make a right once again. Psych, not possible. <laughs> you can't go under the train. All right, let's make it right here. This is Camulet. Looks like we got an apartment high rise on my left. There was a ticket on one of them cars right next to the high rise. That's messed up. A parking ticket. Yeah, and so on. Like what I was talking about earlier. So if the man's doing a little bit now, if uh, now again, if the man and the woman are both doing construction and the woman's doing just as much labor as the man, she deserves just as much pay. You know what I mean? Or vice versa. If if the woman, you know what I mean, if, if if she's doing all the lifting and all the heavy construction and she's driving the steamroller and the man doesn't have as much experience, he just started a job and and, and, and he um, is probably not doing as intensive work, let's say he's the flagger, then yeah, it's only right for the female to make a couple more bucks. But it appears that in many of these cities and states that I go to, men always make more than the women. There's a sign on our right that reads senior citizens. So I'm assuming this apartment on our left is probably like a senior citizens um, apartment living space. Because I don't see no other reason for them to put that senior citizen sign just in the middle of a block. Right before you hit this uh, apartment on my left. Usually, yeah, TRC Senior Village. You see, sometimes things are just common sense. <laughs> We're at 53rd and Camulet. So I know we got thrown off some. Yeah, we got thrown off, but let's go right. Because I wanted to go left and right. We're just going to randomly drive now. Got the mail carrier on our right. Haha, <laughs> my boy got Jordans. <laughs> he said, I'm going to deliver this mail in style, boy. Prairie, we're at 53rd and Prairie. All right, we're at South Indiana Ave, 53rd and South Indiana Ave. We're gonna continue going straight. We're gonna make a little slight turn and then we're gonna turn once again. Way of Holiness Church of God. Yeah, they got a lot of churches here in Chicago too. They're seeing a lot of churches. I wonder how often are are they used? Do like are churches popping around here? Like do people, you know, utilize them? Or are they just there for a show? We're on Michigan Ave. They got Greater Beth. Bethesda, B E T H E E S D A. I I almost want to say Bethsaida, but that that don't make sense. Beth Bethesda, Bethesda. I don't know. I keep telling y'all, I'm not the sharpest nail in the box. It's kind of rusty. <laughs> Cosmopolitan Community Home on our left. We're at Wabash and 53rd. Let's go up another block, make 11, and crisscross, go to the Apple. I was going to say go the Apple way, because I was thinking crisscross applesauce. <laughs> go the other way. I said we could crisscross and then go the Apple way. Go the other way. Crisscross applesauce. Let's make this left right here. You got the tennis village in front of us. It's called the tennis village. Has proudly sent 47 students to college with tennis scholarships. Holy smokes. Tennis village, 2019 summer. Choose any eight weeks for $999. Weekly and daily rates also available. $400 deposit due. Yo, before and after care. Scholarships available, space is limited. 
sports membership camp, tennis membership camp. Oh, tennis and enrichment camp. So that's like summer camps or programs for, for kids. But what's interesting, that huge building in front of us. But what's interesting is, is that they, they say they probably sent 47 students. 47 out of how many? You know what I mean? If it's 47 out of 80 students to, to college with a scholarship, then cool. If it's 47 out of 5,000 students, then eh, it's kind of like a low per- percentage. That means, <laughs> you know what I mean? You don't got a good chance of getting a scholarship. But if it's like 47 out of 100 students, then that's that's pretty good. A thousand bucks, basically. The Queen's Ball, a Bridgerton experience, and they got Netflix on it. It says Netflix. I wonder what that has to do with with, with the with the whole program. Netflix, yeah. Shondaland Netflix Fever. Wow. Let's make this left. I think that's cool though. Something different. I mean, I don't really see people playing tennis. Especially in the hood, as often, you know. Probably if you go to a prominent neighborhood where people got time on their hands to like recreate and do stuff like that. That's cool, though. You know, sending a kid off to higher education with a scholarship because college ain't cheap, man. It's expensive. It's expensive. $100,000, $150,000, $200,000 $100,000, $150,000, $200,000 in debt. You know, on the low end, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 in debt, $60,000 in debt. All right, let's make this left. We're passing Miss Biscuit Comfort Food once again. Let's turn left on Garfield. This is Garfield Boulevard. But these lights on this um, block right here suck. Like, they don't, they're, they're not as visible. Like, that one kind of turned green a little late while people were still moving. Good Shepherd Tower, senior resident apartments on my right. The Park, supper club on our right. They call it The Park. Urban Night Apartments, I see that across the street, right next to a McDonald's. We're at Michigan Ave. Garfield and Michigan Ave. Cost of living in Washington Park. Washington Park housing is 35% lower than the national average. We're passing South Michigan Ave. We got a sign on our right that reads Chicago Skyway, Interstate 90. All right, we're at Indiana, passing Indiana. We got a bunch of cars behind me, y'all, so I got to drive normal uh, speed limit. Passing Prairie. Going under the train. I think this will take us to Interstate 90 to Indiana. I'm going to make a right, though, because I don't want to go through the park. That's uh, Washington Park right in front of us. That's the actual park. It's a huge park, man. It's really, really, really big. Ouch. Bus stop on our left, the number three bus. Let's make this right on 55th place. Arts Lawn, opening summer 2022. Oh, it looks like they got their blueprints out there for like a fancy uh, garden. It's called Arts Lawn. Arts plus public life is a dynamic hub of exploration, expression, and exchange that centers people of color and fosters neighborhoods' vibrancy through the arts on the south side of Chicago. As a neighborhood platform for arts and culture in Washington Park, APL provides residencies for black and brown artists and creative entrepreneurs, arts education for youth, and artists-led programming and exhibitions. So I just read that banner so that you guys know what it says. That's the little, I think, thing they're trying to build on our right. It looks nice. The... The uh, blueprint looked nice. It looked like uh, pretty much a giant green space for people to visit. So this neighborhood got them train tracks up top running right through it. We had two people on my right. They was walking with some food. It looked like uh, they probably 
had some trays, like, like some platters of food, which sounds awesome right about now. <laughs> I ain't had my Wheaties this morning, man. I ain't had no breakfast this morning. I just hit the door. I straight up just left. <laughs> the only thing I had was water. Clean wash on our right, spelled with a K. K K-L-E-E-N. Clean. Low key, that guy right there, if you squint your eyes, you turn your head sideways, and you slap the back of your head, he reminds me of Kevin Hart. (laughs) I was going to make a left, but this is a one-way. Indiana Ave. Good thing I paid attention, because I would have made a left and probably ended up in trouble. But, yo, I swear, man, I wish I would have zoomed it in. He, like, real quick, like, he don't look exactly like Kevin Hart, but the shape of his head and just his haircut, he, he reminds me so much of Kevin Hart. All right, we're at the 5500 block of Garfield Boulevard. We're going to make a left on Garfield Boulevard. There's a lot of uh, detours, like, a lot of blocks that get cut off. All right, green light, skirt, red light, green light, red light, green light, skirt, skirt. All right, let's merge left. Uh, let's make a left down Michigan Ave. Hmm. Got McDonald's on our right. Let's go straight for another two, three blocks and then make a left. You guys didn't get to see this side of Garfield. Yeah, so it's five nineteen a gallon, but with the car wash, it's five eighty nine a gallon. So they give you a discount if you get the car wash. But the car wash is a $3 car wash, so I don't know. I guess you do the math. Do you really save money or do you pay a little bit more? I didn't make this left on State, on State Street. We got Midway Liquors on our right. I'm going to stay right here. We got Burger King on our left. I didn't make this left on 56th Street. Remember, I'm trying to go left and right. We went uh, front and back earlier, up and down. So, surprisingly, we covered a great deal of this neighborhood. We didn't cover the whole entire neighborhood inch for inch, but we covered a high percentage of it. More than some of the other neighborhoods in Chicago, because some of these neighborhoods are huge. We're at Wabash, 56 and Wabash. Huge green space on my left, huge green space on my right. So what's interesting, fun, fun fact, you guys will learn a little bit more about that when I talk about the O Block video, or when I talk about O Block in the other video, I'm gonna do a video where we're gonna cover the neighborhood that O Block is located in. But since O Block is around the corner, I thought I'd make note in this video that Michelle Obama was also from O, not from O Block, but that was her her neighborhood. Who knows? Maybe she lived in that complex. But I do know that Michelle Obama used to call that area home. So that's interesting. That's another little interesting gem. But uh, make sure to stay tuned for when that video drops. So you guys can learn what neighborhood O Block's in and maybe you'll learn a little bit more. I don't know at all, but I'm gonna try to regurgitate some basic knowledge and information that you can find on the World Wide Web. We're at 56 in Indiana. I'm gonna turn left just because I like this building right here. Why not show you guys that building before we close out? 